Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin this repair, make sure the engine has cooled. Remove the wire and boot from each spark plug. Then disconnect the cables from the battery. Black first, then red. Your next step is to loosen the cover knob to release the air filter cover and pull the cover off. Now remove the wing nuts securing the inner air filter cover and pull the inner cover off along with the air filter and pre-cleaner. Next, remove the bolts to release the fuel pump. Disconnect the regulator rectifier wire harness. Remove the bolt to release the dipstick tube from the bracket and pull it out of the engine sump. Be prepared for a small amount of oil to spill out. Remove the screws to release the brackets holding the oil breather in place and pull the breather out of the valve cover. Now remove the screws securing the throttle control bracket and move the bracket out of the way. Use an Allen head wrench to remove the bolts securing the grass shield and pull the shield off along with the support ring. Now remove the mounting screws securing the blower housing. Pull the housing off. Be aware this may require some effort. Next, detach the grounding wire from the ignition coil you wish to replace. Remove the bolts securing the coil and pull the old coil out. Install the new ignition coil by positioning it and inserting the mounting bolts. Pull the coil back and tighten the bolts. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the bolts to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the bolts and remove the business card. Attach the grounding wire. Reposition the blower housing. Secure it with the mounting screws. Align the support ring, then reposition the grass shield and secure the bolts. Realign the throttle control bracket and secure it with the screws. Align the oil breather's rear retaining bracket and reinsert the breather into the valve cover. Then position and secure the front retaining bracket with the screws. Reinsert the dipstick tube into the engine sump. Align it with the bracket and secure the bolt. Reconnect the regulator rectifier wire harness. Reposition the fuel pump and secure the bolts. Replace the air filter and pre-cleaner onto the elbow assembly along with the inner cover and secure with the wing nut. Replace the cover and tighten the cover knob. With the new ignition coil in place, you can now reconnect the battery cables, red first, then black. Finally, reattach the wire and boot to each spark plug.